We've seen an increase in the popularity of standing desks. The phenomena really is not new. Thomas Jefferson had one made for him by a Williamsburg cabinet maker. Charles Dickens and Winston Churchill had them too. More recently, they're being used by those workers who want to be healthier and more productive. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, we ask the question, will a standing desk make you healthier and more productive? We'll look for the answer in a second. Hey, if you are not on my list to get my weekly newsletter, I'd certainly invite you to do that. Each and every week, I write about productivity, leadership, management issues. It's an absolutely free newsletter. It's uh, become very popular, and I'd like to send a copy of it to you. All you have to do is go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, click on contact, I'll get you on the list. So let's take a look at standing desks and whether or not they really are all that they are set out to be. Mark Benden, a professor in environmental and occupational health at Texas A&M's School of Public Health, tested out the ideas. First, he looked at two different groups of call center workers. One group sat at a traditional desk, while the second group could control the height of their desk. He found that those with standing capable workstations stood about one and a half hours longer per day and were 42% more productive than those who worked at seated desks. By being up more of the time, we improve blood flow to the brain and circulation to the body. And these things combine to make the brain more active and engaged. Other studies published by the Journal of Physical Activity and Health report that while sitting, Study subjects burned 80 calories an hour, about the same as typing or watching TV. While standing, the number of calories burned was only a little bit higher than while sitting, about 88 calories per hour. Walking burned 210 calories an hour. So should you ask for a standing desk at work or invest in one for your home office? Well, there are some other factors to consider. There is a concern that after working on computers at standing desks for two hours, some study participants reported discomfort, muscle fatigue, and lower limb swelling. The discrepancy in studies may come from who is studied. For example, younger workers may be more physically fit and less prone to physical problems. There is also evidence that getting up from your sitting desk and taking a quick walk around the office might be just as beneficial. For example, the Clinical Journal of American Society of Nephrology found that people who walked around an average of two minutes every hour had a 33% lower risk of premature death than their more sedentary peers. As a result, before you go purchase a standing desk, you might want to elevate your computer or try somebody else's standing desk setup. If you do try a desk, the pros recommend that you make sure it is not too high or low when raised. Raise your desk to the height of your elbows and ensure your elbows can remain close to your body. You'll know your desk is too high when your elbows begin to pull away from your body to reach the keyboard. Your keyboard should be raised as high as it goes and tilt upwards for better viewing. To maintain your comfort level, have a small stool that you can use when you lift your leg. And finally, make sure that you're wearing comfortable shoes. While you'll find research that demonstrates the advantages of standing desk, it's really about your comfort. You will not be more productive or healthy if you're miserable. We all wanna be more productive and I've been studying the best ways of managing time and increasing our productivity. All of the research-based findings are in my online course, Pathway to Productivity and Time Management. The course will help you solve some of your worst productivity problems. To find out more about the course, go to my website, daveedwardsmedia.com, and click on Courses. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for joining me today.